<sighs> oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name is James John Gregorio, and I'm the Teen Services Coordinator. This summer, the Chrysler Museum of Art is hosting the exhibit M.C. Escher, Infinite Variations, featuring over 150 works by the famed artists. So today, we're going to take some time and make our own art with one of Escher's well-known techniques, tessellation. Tessellations, patterns of shapes that fit perfectly together. Because the shape repeats and covers a surface with no overlaps, only certain shapes will tessellate. Rectangles, triangles, and hexagons. These shapes can repeat by turning, like these triangles, turning into a hexagon, or by reflecting these triangles, now we have a square, or by sliding, where we have these squares that connect together like that. So today, for the art, we're going to be using squares and sliding. Here's what you'll need to create an art piece today, using a translated square and a tessellation. You'll need a pencil, a two inch square cut from some stiff paper, a support like paper or canvas, scissors, tape, and art materials for coloring and details. Today, we're going to make the template for our design. First, you're going to take a pencil and draw a simple design on one side of your two inch square, starting in the corners. So stick with something pretty basic that you feel that you can easily cut out, because that's the next step. We've got our design. We're going to carefully follow the line and just cut it out, starting from the corners of the square and ending on the corner of the square. That way we get a nice repeating pattern. Like so. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to slide the pattern here to the other end. Like that. And that leads us to part of our design. And then once you finish that, go ahead and pick a, another side. I'm going to start on the bottom and draw another simple shape. Again, moving from the corners of the square. So we have Nice repetition. All right, then we cut it out. Just follow the line best you can, corner to corner. There we go. And then again, we'll take the part we just cut out and we'll slide it to the top. And then take some scotch tape and attach our pieces together to create our template, which we'll use in the next step. Now we'll take our template and just put it on a piece of paper anywhere. It doesn't need to be in the middle, it can be on the side or wherever you want really. And then hold it down and trace it. In this case, I'm using a nice marker. It's very easy to see. You just outline the entire shape as closely as you can. There we go. Draw on yourself a little bit if you uh, feel so inclined. And then what we're going to do is slide the template over so that it fits in perfectly next to the outline you just drew and repeat the process. And you're just going to do this until the entire paper is filled up with your tessellation pattern. It may take a little while, but as Sisyphus once said, I can do this forever because it's so relaxing. At least I imagine that's what you would say. There we 
we go. So you see we got a row coming up here. Oop. And once we got our row, we can move up, fit it into another piece of the outline, and start again. You can take your time with it. If you make some mistakes, then congratulations, you're human. Because we all make mistakes. But it just makes your art a little more unique. Now that we're done with our template, we can start personalizing it and adding some color. So for me, these kind of look a little bit like a fish, so I'm going to go around and just add little eyeballs to all the little fishes. Just make sure you try to do it in roughly the same spot on each one. I really add to that effect of the repetition. And then you can use a little bit of color. You can do highlights. I like to use markers because they're big and bold. But you can use paint, crayons, anything you like really. And there you have it, a finished product. I call this one Screaming Fishes. I hope you enjoy tessellating and are inspired to incorporate this technique into your art. I know I am. We'd love to see. Tag us with your masterpiece on social media. We hope that you take the opportunity to visit the MC Escher Infinite Variations exhibit this summer at the Chrysler Museum. Tell us about it when we see you at the library.